Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a little Half-Life 2 update playthrough. Uh, I usually play through the Half-Life series uh, once a year. I enjoy it. It's, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I'm not just one of the people that enjoys the Half-Life 3 confirmed memes. I've, I've lived the life. I've uh, waited for the fucking game since 2007. I've given up hope. Uh, I've, I've officially said fuck Valve, especially when it comes to them producing games. I'm going to move on with my life. I guess I'm going to wait for Project Borealis. I guess that's the only way we're going to see what Half-Life is doing. Because Valve does not care. They just don't care. Anyway, I like the uh, the Half-Life 2 update version because, you know, they add a little, change the lighting a little bit. But it's all so subtle that you can't, it's not like the cinematic mod where it is just ridiculous. It completely changed the feel of the game, the look of the characters and everything. And I'm just... Uh, I'm one of the people that's off-put by the cinematic mod, so we'll not be doing that. We'll just give a whole kind of vanilla playthrough of Half-Life 2, and I'll, uh, basically I'm just going to talk about it, because uh, it looks dated, of course, uh, but when I look at it, it still looks fantastic. You know, I look at, I'm looking at the water right now, the water looks pretty good. You know, it's a good game. It's got a lot of feels to it. Well, let's get started. Let's do a little bit of point insertion. The G. My man, my man. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Is he not the greatest mystery in gaming? The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I am playing this with a DSR on, so that's why the, the reticle is very tiny. The text in the, the menu, very small. Because even in 4K and uh, 8 times MSAA, you're still, there's still some jaggies, like especially the power lines. Well, DSR just uh, smooths that on out. Hello. This is my third transfer this year. Well, end of the line. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Who's this lovely man? Oh, thank you. It, it, and it is fine. It's very fine. Yes. Particularly like the garbage. Hmm. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to uh, see. Mouse is not. Sensitivity is not right. Let's bump it up just a little bit. There we go. Eh, I could use a little more wool. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Bitch. I just hate authoritarianism. Hey, but, but, buddy, fuck off with that shit. Were you the only ones on that train? All right, all right, you got your licks in, man. That's enough. Fuck off. Bitch. I remember when I first played this game, seeing, this was about 2005 when I first had a computer that could even play a game. Uh, I remember walking into this room and looking at that floor, the way the, the way the lights reflected off the floor, just thinking, I don't think it'll ever get any better than this. This looks so real. 
It looks so real. And so, whether you are here to stay or no, no, passing home. through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. I'm also a big fan of um, 1984. And there's a definite 1984 vibe in this whole game. Like, if I'm not mistaken, even in the book, they, were, they, they wore uh, blue jumpsuits. Our coveralls. Yes, sir. Go this way, right here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a choice. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this gonna go sexual? About that beer I owe you. <laughs> hey, Barn! It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Look at you, man. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical. That ass is looking sorry, good. Doc, but look who's here. Great. Oh, hey. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're going to have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. All right, bye, Barn. Got to go. Yeah, man, this is not my first rodeo. Calm down. Always wanted to go in there for some reason. Every time I played it. I need to get through, guy. Excuse me? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, there you go. You worthless fuck. Eastern European feel to it, you know? I just, uh, God, I love this game. I know that's strange because a lot of people think it, I know a guy said it's boring, he doesn't like it. Maybe it's, uh, you had to been there to appreciate it. But I'm sure there's people that have never picked this thing up, you know, they were probably born in 2002 or some shit. And they, uh, they've come to like the game, but they find out that they've, they like it. Citadel. Enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother. Species. Instinct coddled us, and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks, cooked our first meals above a mother fire, and started at the shadows.
Okay. I'll move along then. Always love the Striders too. Just imagine living like this. Hey, what was it? old games like this though when you look at it it it, it does feel kind of empty like there's just not a lot of life around you know <laughs> but uh there's still far superior to anything produced today always thought here the children screaming lost memories when children roam the playgrounds of earth Always liked that. Thought that was a nice touch. That yellow setting sun look to everything, just like the sun is going down. It's going down on a civilization, going down on a world. Don't worry. I'm going this way after I throw this at you. I have seen everything this game has to offer a million times over, but every time I play it, I still find myself walking around looking at things. Yeah, yeah, I'm not coming up here. No, I'm going to keep moving. Yeah. This little Control bastard out of here. Ah, shut up. <laughs> I better just get on with it. I can't take it anymore. Ever wondered how they detected that miscount so quick? Hey, you. How do you know I'm the miscount? Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Oh shit. You better run. Hey boys. Bye boys. Get in here quick. Yeah, I'm gone. Way ahead of you, buddy. And then what's strange is every playthrough, you still notice something that you did not notice before. Never noticed that there was a uh, that uh, scanner looking through that window in that attic. Never seen it before. Never looked that way. Suck. Oh, 
Well, time to meet Alex. Yeah, yeah, dodge. Over here. I didn't dodge for long. No, you don't. Hey, what's the lights doing? Dr. Freeman, I presume. Hey, beautiful. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. Well, you make quick work of these guys. You had some training, I see. Also, remember the first time I saw that ass, I didn't think there would ever be a better looking ass in a game. I was wrong. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do. Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Mm-hmm. Through here. Getting close to wrap the point insertion hey, of the Freeman. In and there we have it. I think I'm going to do this chapter by chapter, so we'll just end this right here.